Welcome to my Simplicity Pattern Review 9550. It's a Mimi G pattern. There it is right up there on the board. This is a great pattern to sew if you're looking for like sewing uh, summer patterns. So what I'll do is I'm going to go through all the details. I made the top and the bottom, but the first thing I do want to emphasize on is to make sure you're going to want to make a mock pattern of the shorts for sure because if you don't have skorts currently in your wardrobe then you don't really have anything to compare it to and so that is what I did and it came out perfectly I'm going to show you guys now okay so here are the mock-up shorts right here. I just made them out of a uh, sheet, an old sheet that I don't use anymore. And another thing that I did, I altered the back. So the back calls for a zipper and I didn't want to put the zipper in because it's a high, they're high-waisted shorts and I felt like, you know, with my stomach showing and maybe I'll have like some overage going over the waist, I decided to make a waistband and it is so easy. I'm going to show you how I made that. Okay, so I do have footage on how I did the elastic waistband. The front waistband is cut exactly as the pattern says and the back waistband, I just cut it the same length or the same width as the back section of the shorts. And now I'm just going to gather the fabric on the front section of the shorts because the back is going to be gathered naturally when I put in the elastic waistband. And now I'm going to sew in the waistband to the shorts and then I will sew the facing to the waistband, which is what you can see right here. And now that that is sewn together, I can make my casing in the back. So I'm just gonna sew a little um, line, you know, to make a casing and I'm just pushing the elastic through. It's a 3 fourth of a width elastic that I used. I'm just going to run this through with the waistband and then I will sew it on each end to keep the waistband in place and then I am done. And this is what it looks like. So I did the elastic waistband here in the back and then I have the facing in it. So that's what it looks like. And then the front does not have the elastic. It's just smooth and straight. I also attached a secret pocket because this pattern didn't, they didn't include a pocket with it. So I just put in a tiny little pocket right there and then I shortened the shorts by about an inch and a half. So the pattern description, it says for the top, it's a pullover top. It has puff dolman sleeve finish with elastic and the elastic right here at the bottom and then it's got the elastic sleeve. And then I also um, just added one of my snaps in the back right here. Oh, and another thing for the top, what I love about the top is I didn't have to shorten it. So a lot of times when I make tops, oh, and I'll share with you this dress pattern right here. I love this one and there is the envelope right there because I can't think of it off the top of my head. This is another really good pattern to try, but okay, so back to this one. This is also the dolman sleeve. It was really quick and easy to put together. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, usually I have to lower the necklines of my shirts by about like two inches. This one I forgot to do that, but it was okay because I really like how it fits. So there are some pictures on how it fits. This is a picture of me in Cabo and that is the lady who braided my hair. Okay, so were the instructions easy to follow? And yes, I would say that they are, um, but I did do my mock-up first of the shorts. 
because I was concerned in the crotch area and how that would fit. Okay, so what did you particularly like or dislike about the pattern? I loved that I didn't have to drop the neckline and then also like I added the elastic waistband onto the shorts. And then a friendly reminder, please hit the like and subscribe button if you are enjoying this video. Thank you. Another thing that I want to give you a heads up with, or this is just kind of like a tip, when you're sewing with like a rayon chalet fabric, you are going to want to serge every raw edge. And what I did is I surged every raw edge and then I sewed them together. So both sides are surged and then I sewed them together so that it wouldn't like come undone or unravel when you put it through the wash. So this is going to last me a long time. If you've ever sewn with rayon chalet, then you understand the importance of surging every raw edge that you have. And so then I even surged uh, the the ends of the sleeves and then I just folded them in to make the elastic casing. And then also I did the same thing for the bottom. Uh, on the bottom though, I didn't use my rolled hem foot, which I would usually do, but for the hem, I just folded it twice which I don't know how I had the patience to do that. And then I sewed a double hem to make it look like a, a ready to wear garment, like how they finished theirs. And the suggested fabrics that they say to use is like a cotton, a gauze, linen, silky types, and then you'll want a lightweight interfacing. So this is a it's a rayon chalet fabric and then on the inside for the linings i just used a cotton fabric it's actually an old sheet of fabric that i think works out really nicely on the inside and it matches really cute and so this is the fabric that i got from fabric.com and yeah i know i'm sad we don't we no longer have fabric.com i think this was like six dollars a yard and I, I love it. I wore this to Cabo, so there are some pictures right there of me wearing it on my Cabo trip. So the finished garment measurements, it goes from uh, 38 inches and it goes all the way up to 52 and a half inches. I made me a size 14 and so that says 44 and a half for the finished garment measurement which is nice because it is supposed to be baggy. The other thing that I get um, stuck on with dolman sleeves is I feel like the bust side is a little bit different so because the bust will kind of go into the arm area but just for your reference reference of my bus size is a 40 and so I went with a size 14 and I think it fits really really well. So I hope you enjoyed this pattern review. Let me know if there's something that I forgot to mention and make sure that you check out my pattern review playlist. I'm sure there's something there that you will like as well and so until next time happy sewing. Bye guys!